Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman on this 9 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Uh, Wednesday, the 5th of October, we're looking at the Dow futures down 300 points at 30,067. You're looking at the email of the spectacular two days uh, rally. You can expect some kind of a pullback. The Chapman Wave uh, low reading and the Chin Gauge. Uh, that's the short-term trading index, suggested that there should be some weakness early in the morning where the Dow goes negative before the rally attempt. You're looking at the S&P down 38 at 37.65. You're looking at the NQ uh, down uh, 129 at 11,511. That's the QQQ, and that's going to be interesting because the QQQ uh, broke above the high that was made last week and it's very important that it gets to the 284 level, certainly by about Friday. You're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000. This is the small caps uh, trading down 225 at 173 and uh, hit 176. It really needs to get to the 177 level to say, hey, maybe there's some leadership here in the small caps. We're watching that gold is down uh, eight at, at 17.21 after fabulous uh, five or six sessions. And it needs to get to the 1756, 1762 level by Friday to say, hey, I'm continuing in this mode because the dollar uh, had pulled back, but the dollar now is up 95 cents at 111.01. That can give a little nervousness. Of course, we've got, I think we've got Fed speak today. Uh, the TLT is down 80 cents at 102.74. Not very good. Uh, you're looking at the crude oil. A very nice rally yesterday and right on the 200 period moving average resistance at 86.64. The volatility index is going to be very important. Yes, it pulled back from the weekly inside track repellent zone and we're watching it because if the if the VIX at any point this week has a bounce and can get to the 31.40 area, that's going to increase the weakness in the market. But if it starts to pull back and it starts to get to the 28th by Thursday, that's going to suggest that this is just a, a brief a pause to take a breather and the market could be heading higher. So there are a lot of positive things here, but just on a very short-term basis, how the market handles today is going to be really important. And it's not just today, it's how it goes into Friday's close. We want to see how the weekly close is so that we can have a measured move going into the rest of October. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Stay tuned for Tommy O'Brien Market Kickoff. Great programming here at TFNN. See you tomorrow.